ADEPT is headquartered in Brussels and gather African diaspora organizations that are based in the European Union, in Norway, in Switzerland and in the UK and that conduct development activities in Africa as well as inclusion and diversity related projects in Europe. So this diaspora demonstrated a great dynamism and commitment to communities in residence and origin countries in the fight against COVID-19. The African diaspora, be it organizations or individuals, responded in many ways. Some ensured food distribution to vulnerable people or created help desks for migrants in Europe. Others set up face mask distribution lines or raised funds to finance personal protective equipment for medical staff in Africa. So in this media campaign, you will see that they also showed great creativity in another area, which is the agriculture related one. The COVID-19 pandemic has been disruptive to food systems affecting farmers, food processors, and other actors along agricultural value chains. The pandemic has highlighted the important role that diaspora communities and organizations can play in emergency response and post-crisis recovery. A large number of diaspora organizations are supporting food security and agri-food systems in their countries of origin through knowledge and capital transfer, as well as targeted support to the agricultural sector. Knowledge sharing on sustainable agriculture techniques, provision of agri-food inputs, promotion of online marketplaces, and employment generation in agribusiness are a few examples. FAO and ADEPT are partnering to enhance the positive contribution of diaspora to agriculture and rural development. Through an open call to ADEPT members, we have identified four organizations that are playing a particularly active role in the COVID-19 response. Let's hear from them now. Where we came up with an initiative known as the NSODA COVID-19 Task Force, which aims at assisting our people to fight against COVID-19. We have mobilized our resources and we have raised funds and we have contributed to about 120,000 face masks, 3,000 soaps and 5,000 buckets. Our challenge now is to provide sustainable projects for them like a bakery, like gardening, like farm tools that can sustain their lives in order to survive during this pandemic. The recent uh, activities in the Gambia was that to talk to women farmers and uh, young people to see how they can improve on their production. Also give them some, some financial assistance to take care of their families. The second stage that we want to do is to still work with these young people and women to grow more vegetables and cash crops and diversify uh, their production. We want to see that most of these young people are present online. We're going to help them to establish websites. We could help these young people to go to, to participate in trade fairs. We want to build their capacities on entrepreneurship, diversification, uh, packaging, um, value chain in the next three years, because I think there's a lot of resources and um, possibilities for young people to make in the Gambia. Nous intervenons dans le milieu rural et donc depuis 2013, nous avons accompagné environ 1750 familles. La première partie de nos activités depuis 2013, donc en 7 ans, a consisté à appuyer les paysans à se développer et à développer surtout leur autonomie en matière de nourriture. Et nous avons apporté également la construction de magasins, des aires de séchage et tout ça. Et nous arrivons aujourd'hui à la deuxième phase de développer leur capacité financière. Nous allons développer un projet autour 
de, de l'énergie solaire à, liée à l'agriculture. Donc ça va être des, un appui technique d'accompagnement, de formation et d'appui à la création d'entreprises de femmes, leur apportant la technologie solaire. L'organisation a été travaillée en Somalie plus de deux décennies. Ce que nous avons fait jusqu'à maintenant est pour la distribution et la distribution de hygiène. Nous nous proposons des informations à la communauté. Nous nous planons de faire une mobilisation de diaspora pour soutenir les farmers locaux et les groupes de femmes et les groupes de femmes. Donc nous essayons de lier les femmes et les femmes et les farmers. Par exemple, nous avons des professionnels, des diaspora professionnels qui sont liés avec notre organisation et nous allons lier les femmes, par exemple, pour entraîner les femmes, pour soutenir les femmes et leurs activités dans ces difficiles temps. C'est le moment où nous pouvons venir et nous proposer notre support à la diaspora organisation et aussi transférer notre connaissance.